Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. If it's your first time to come across this channel, support this channel by clicking the subscribe button and also hitting the notification bell because it will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload a new video. So for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. In today's in today's video, we are going to look at the, the breaking and the latest news as coming from the Ministry of Public Health in Qatar. Remember, we see a lot of COVID restrictions in various countries where in some countries there is a restriction on uh, masks. We look at uh, travel and uh, travel restrictions uh, for the fully vaccinated. Remember, fully vaccinated and those that are recovered from the, vac the, uh, the COVID-19 um, pandemic or the COVID-19 disease are mostly enjoying this privilege. In today's video, we are going to look at the latest development on the latest up, uh, up lifting of the restrictions imposed in Qatar. Remember, uh, a lot of restrictions have been in place due to uh, a number of staging uh, um, COVID-19 cases that we are in the country. And when you look at what happened is at the same time, Qatar has administered over uh, one, 1 1.5 million uh, booster doses to all the residents and the citizens of Qatar, which is quite very good at this time. So we are going to look at what are the latest restrictions on masks, what are the latest restrictions on um, public uh, gatherings, and uh, we look at also the latest restrictions regarding to employees, carrying capacity, and all the restaurants in in the same category in today's video we are going to look at we are going to go through the guidelines that are being given or guidelines that are being published uh, by the Ministry of public health that will come into effect on saturday uh, 12th of 2022 as regards to the lifting of uh, uh, the covid restrictions uh, regarding carrying full capacity in Qatar at the same time so we shall go in one by one such that you can clearly understand where your category or where you definitely fall or where you need to enjoy at a given time because remember all of us we are playing a period where we shall go back to what we call the normalcy where we would visit the friends and grandmothers at the same time and enjoy the same time that we had before uh, so it is a gradual process and you know uh, when we tend to look at lifting the restrictions uh, then it also becomes a responsibility of all of us to follow and obligate to what is being issued or what is being given by the Ministry of Public Health. So we shall go in one, uh, we shall go into um, uh, the restrictions and see what the Ministry of Public Health uh, published, what are we supposed to follow and what are our, what are our guidelines and what are our responsibilities at the same time. Remember, the Prime Minister and the Minister of Interior, uh, His Excellency Sheikh Karid bin Karif bin Abdelaziz Al Thani, shared the regular meetings held by the Cabinet uh, uh, meeting. Uh, this afternoon, the Cabinet decided that to ease some of the restrictions which were in place to limit the spread of the COVID-19 from Saturday, starting with effect from Saturday, uh, March 12. Remember, lifting restrictions on imposing what you call the carrying, uh, carrying capacity and permitted number of means of transportation and open closed public and private places, taking into account close to of this decision. Entry to closed public places shall be in accordance to the following. Remember, for those that are planning to go to what you call closed places, uh, let's say cinemas, let's say uh, concerts, there's adherence, there are some rules that you need to follow. And one of them, all citizens or residents and visitors who have completed doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, those recovering from the disease, the people with health conditions prevents them from taking the vaccine based on the medical report from the authorities determined by the Ministry of Public Health. Uh, that is for those that uh, should follow uh, clearly what we call uh, the expo or peace uh, put in place by the Minister of Public Health. Remember, all citizens or residents and visitors who did not complete the full dose of the COVID-19 vaccine at the rate not exceeding 20% of the capacity after conducting a rapid test approved by the Minister of Public Health for the following indoor places. Remember, for citizens or the visitors who wish who wish 
to do anything in closed doors and do not complete what you call the three doses of the vaccine. The three doses of the vaccines we are talking about, we are talking about the approved uh, uh, COVID-19 vaccines in Qatar and plus the booster dose because it is the last dose that makes the three doses. Remember, if you are in this category of the group and you've not completed uh, uh, any of those doses and you wish to do any function or you do no, no need to do anything in any closed door you should follow this and this what are they saying that you should take what you call a rapid uh, a rapid antigen test before you go to uh, any gathering of this sort and this indoor public places the government will have public uh, minister of public health that put in place we are looking at the physical training clubs and gyms we are looking at feeds uh, with weddings remember weddings is a gathering of very many people so meaning that if the people coming to your wedding or any group or particular group of people who are coming to your wedding and they're not fully vaccine, uh, vaccinated with the approved vaccines, they will need to take what you call an antigen test in the 24 hours before they can fully attend as to one way to combat or one way to stop the spread of uh, the COVID-19 uh, virus. Remember, we talk about the sports events, the conferences, exhibitions and events, restaurants and caves amusement parks and entertainment centers, swimming pools and water parks, theaters and cinemas, provided that a rapid, a rapid uh, antigen test was conducted during what you call a 24-hour prior to the indoor services. For those people that are, uh, are, are planning to attend these indoor services that are mentioned above uh, and in case your guests or any visa or people that you invited are not vaccinated with the fully approved vaccines or not completed all the doses then that means they should take what you call an antigen test uh, prior in the 24 hours before they can attend the function that is by the ministry of the public health remember also the, the ministry stresses that the adherence to the requirements set by the Minister of Public Health for holding any conference and exhibition or an event. What does it mean? That for you to hold any exhibition or to hold any conference or any event, you must get uh, what you call a permission or you must get a license that approves, that approves you that you are ready and you are fit or you are allowed to take that event or to conduct uh, any event of that sort. Remember, we are following the SOP and the guidelines that are being put in place by the Ministry of the Public Health. In um, and, uh, still number four, we shall look at the continuation. Remember the continuation of all employees in the government sector to carry out their work from office and allowing employees to provide the sector to work from office. Uh, this is, you remember, before when we had uh, uh, the surging cases of the COVID-19, uh, you know, uh, particular groups of people would be allowed to work in office and other groups will be allowed to work remotely from their homes uh, uh, in, in, in what we call the online system. But now the Minister of Public Health announces it that it is okay that everyone or all employees that we are set by the, in the government uh, sector that we are uh, um, previously working in what we call the remote areas can, can now go back to uh, their offices and can still now do their work uh, bearing without any uh, any hindrance in office. Then, however, the ministry also continue to stress that uh, uh, continuing to obligate all the employees and workers in the public and the private sector to conduct what we call a rapid antigen test uh, approved by the Ministry of Public Health on what we call a weekly basis for employees and workers who have not received what we call a complete, uh, a complete dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Remember, for those workers that are working in what you call public and private sector at the time and they would go back to office as announced by the Minister of Public Health, there is one condition that if uh, that worker or that employee has not received all the approved COVID-19 uh, vaccines as approved by the Minister of Public Health here in Qatar, then probably they will have to do what you call a weekly basis antigen test that and that antigen test will be conducted or have to be approved by what you call the Ministry of Public Health as following what you call the procedure and SOPs. Remember, still the ministries are uh, the ministry stresses, stresses that obligating all citizens or residents and, vi and visitors to wear masks in all indoor 
public places and not to obligate them to wear on public uh, open places yes the ministry stresses that you can put on the masks in public places where you feel there's a lot of congestion in one way or the other but again the ministry also stresses that in open places in open public places where there's distancing at a given period of time then probably uh, uh, look at in an organized market exhibition events you may not probably put on the mask so long as you follow the, the distancing of two meters apart at all of it all also still the ministry uh, stresses that all workers in established whose nature of work requires being in open spaces and communicating with customers must wear masks during their work period and what are we talking about we are talking about people that are dealing uh, closely or dealing directly with the customers we look at the concept we may look at as part of security because that if uh, the uh, every single time they're talking to customers or trying to serve people, the, the government or the Minister of Public Health stresses that they should be putting on white masks to avoid the spread and uh, the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic at the time. Um, uh, and remember that also the government, also the Minister of Public Health and the government stress stresses that continuing to obligate all, all the citizens and residents to visitor to activate what we call an ethereal application on their smartphones when leaving the house for any reason. Remember, an ethereal application is uh, the, the, the app that will try to trace and try to show the status of the vaccination. So they, still the Minister of Public Health stresses and still uh, uh, still uh, uh, tells people People or still give the instruction that wherever you have to move your house, your, your home or your house, and wherever you have to move to go out in public places, you make sure that you activate that app because it's very important. It shows your status and the rest that you needed to be known by the Minister of Public Health. And remember, the Ministry of the Public Health also continue to allow wedding to take place in an, into an account that the restrictions imposed on entry of people who did not complete or did not receive the doses of the vaccine the COVID-19 vaccines are also put in place. People can have the weddings or people can do the weddings but they have to follow what we call the regulations or that or the, the regulations uh, that are put in place regarding the people who are not vaccinated. Remember we talked about the people who are not vaccinated in this gradual uh, restriction uplift that these people should take what you call an antigen test that should be taken within the last 24 hours if they are going to mount or they are going to be part of what we call the celebration celebration at the time. Remember, still the same degree, uh, the same decree or fourth of the decree shall come into effect as of Saturday, March 12, 2022 until further note. So those are the latest restrictions that we have, that we can have what you call, we can, now, we can now go back to normality, a little bit of normality, we can attend transportation, will be at full capacity, provided you follow the procedure that are being given, then we can attend wedding, we can have outdoor uh, activities in open places and remember in any way or the other way you mandatory have to be putting on the mask then probably that is uh, it is required of you uh, to to take the same procedure take the same course still the ministry also stresses and the ministry says that uh, uh, for those that are not fully vaccinated and one or the other they will not enjoy the same privileges like other people at a time remember before we talked about the restrictions whereby the government stressed uh, or the government uh, put in place what you call an app for the recovered uh, they recovered from the COVID-19 disease and uh, COVID-19 disease and they really stress that uh, all those people that recovered and those that are currently fully vaccinated they will enjoy the same facilities or the same, the same um, uh, privileges like any other person. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's makes from the next creation. Remember we are looking at the updates of the gradually pre uh, uh, gradually uplifting of uh, the restrictions that are put in place in Qatar. Hope you follow the procedure of all the SSP. Remember it's not my own responsibility, it's also your responsibility. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for supporting and subscribing. Remember, we are looking at the road to 2,000 subscribers. It is only your support that we can make this. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we try to see more of the latest updates.